hello guys welcome back in the last video we created up this page here and in this video we are going to create up the sign in page here so we are going to navigate here and you can see here we have created this login page so we are going to do this inside android studio so without further ado let's get started okay, okay now let's collapse this we come here to this code and also collapse this and inside here now we can create more room and now inside here we can create more room here to work with and we are going to create another composable and then this one we are, we are going to call this login so this one is going to be the login page screen and here we are going to build our login page okay now let's create here our login page first we can create here some room and after that here we can create a surface so that we can provide our background color okay now we have here our content color and we have here our primary variant and we are going to make this content color and here sorry here we want to have the on surface to be our content color and the primary variant to be the color so right now here we can create more room and then we can just now start to create our we are going to create here a column and inside this column here we can create our text so after we create this text here now we can create a little bit of a spacer and here we are going to call this 16 dp now after that we have to create here our first button or our first text field and this one you are going to use an outline text field so you can just light here outlined text field now there are two things which we have to pass in here the value and the own value change and this one is requiring us to create a state and for this case here we can try to create here our states so there are different ways of creating states so i have a video which is going to talk about these states but for now we are just going to create here our states and there is a different way which i'm going to show you later in this video on how you can create a state using a state holder so let's just continue here and use this first method here so first and foremost here we want to create our username now for that case here we have our text field now we want to provide here a label in order to notify that a user so this one is going to take up here text so we have here a compose scope so we can pass in here a text and we can pass in here user username now after we pass here a text we have to pass in here a leading icon so this icon here is going to create us a so we can call this icon and here we have to pass in a painter resource id and for that case here we can just come here to resource manager and come here to new and come to vector asset here so we want to create some things now we can click this here in order to load these icons here okay now here we can try to search for person so we have here a person so we can select this one and click here okay and we can change here our color for example we are going to make this white and click next here and after that we have this you can click finish and we can do the same process here to add another vector asset So 
so after that here we can now we have already finished to create this so we can come here to this painter resource id and pass in here our r dot draw okay now inside here also we can create here more room and we can create here a spacer so we are going to pass in here a space of 16 dp to divide this between two text fields and after that we can now copy this and paste it inside here now also we have to duplicate this so we're going to copy this and paste this again here now this one here we are going to call here password On password change so we have two states between these two text field if we use one we are going to just modifying one state in both text fields now after that here now we can pass in here the password okay now inside here also we can add here a keyboard type so here we are going to add on a keyboard options and here we can pass in the keyboard type and here we have to pass in a keyboard type of password and then we can come here to visual transformation and pass in here a visual password transformation so after that here we have our text field and our space and here we have our password now after that we can create here a spacer and here this one is going to be of 16 dp now after that we have to create something which is going to remember if a user can select and for this case here now we are going to create a row so we can create here a row And here we can create here a checkbox. So we have two things which we are required to pass in here, the check and the unchecked. And for this case here, we are going to create a state up here. Now what we have to do, we are going to copy this, control C, and then we are going to paste this here. So here we can make this checked. And here we can change this. okay now inside here we can create a button so we are going to create here a text button now here also we want to override the colors so we can pass in here colors We don't have to override this color here because it's going just to use the material theme color which has been specified now after that we have created here our password and here we have linked a user if has forgotten the password now we are done with this row here we can try and collapse here Now what we can try and do here, we can try and create another thing which we are going to create a row and then this row is going to be aligned at the bottom.
and here also we can just come here and copy that text button which we have specified there and then we can press ctrl c and then we can paste this inside here now instead here we can pass in the sign up okay now i think we are complete here to create our login page so what we have to do is going to check how this one is going to respond and because we have here some states we can try to launch this in our application so we can call this login page screen inside here the login page okay now our app is launched and as you can see here we have our text and this one are not rounded because we have forgotten to add that rounded shape so we can do that and let's try here to see if the states are going to respond here so as that our state is responding and our checkbox is also responding now what we have to do here is go in here and we can try to fix this come to the login page so inside this here we can make this fill max width and also inside this row here we can add a padding of 16 dp now for that case let's try and relaunch our application and see again okay now the app is launched and as you can see here now we have achieved that rounded corners and also this one has been arranged to all of these and we are just good to go